good evening faculty members and friends the agenda of this meeting is implementation of continuous internal assessment initially there were hard and uh, there were no hard and fast regulations uh, governing the internal assessment but in cbme regulations released in june 1st 2023 the logistics were added now they were further modified on 1st august now currently we don't have any module pertaining to these new additions so we are trying to figure out a way through this meeting and i'm grateful to faculty of shrimati nhl mmc ahmedabad especially dr kanan shah who shared her documents with me no. and also dr neeraj mahajan for his support so i'll proceed with the meeting today which is regarding internal assessment 2023 now what nmc has guided us is that regular periodic examination shall be conducted throughout the course now there shall be no less than three internal assessments Uh, examinations in each subject of first and second professional year and no less than two examination in each subject of the final year now this we have been doing now and and end of clinical posting clinical assessment shall be conducted for each clinical posting in each professional year when subjects are taught in more than one phase the internal assessment must be done in each phase and must contribute proportionately to final assessment means that for example in medicine and surgery we take start taking assessment from second year third year and final year and they should equally contribute now internal assessment day to day records and logbook including required skill certification should be given importance in internal assessment internal assessment should be based on competencies and the the final internal assessment in broad specialties for example surgery and allied specialties etc shall comprise of marks from all the constituent specialties the proportion of the marks of each constituent speciality shall be determined by the time of instruction allotted to each now the previous part we have already learned but this was added and i'm taking up in the uh, this part from the 1st august uh, document now there was another document which was released on 1st june and thereafter on 12th june another document was released but this component was changed uh, especially the continuous internal assessment so i am taking up the latest one so if we take that they have mentioned here wise department of anatomy physiology and biochemistry they have taken the phase phase uh, some subjects in phase wise especially the first year one and you know they have divided into formative assessment and continuous internal assessment and they have given total marks that is around 500 now if we move towards the theory uh, formative assessment is per se as it was in earlier time like it was first part completion test theory for 100 marks second part completion test for 100 marks again and send up or prelim theory for 200 marks so this totals up to 400 but if we see continuous internal assessment it rounds up about 100 marks but it has been subdivided further so there is clear demarcation first if we talk about how home assignments it's been allotted 15 marks then seminar 15 marks continuous class test for 30 marks and self directed learning uh, which is further divided into museum study and library assignments for 15 marks each uh, marks each and theory attendance for 10 marks which contributes total to 500 marks now this is clear there is no doubt about the formative assessment but if we talk about the internal assessment theory when i was calculating it i had certain doubts now if we talk about the home assignments we usually give the files for example we have the gross anatomy file we have histology files and embryology files and we may count it as 15 marks because that is something not done in the college itself and then we have continuous class test for 30 marks see we see have uh, besides the part completion test we have grand stages and stages uh, in theory we'll be talking about the grand stages that they are the only written test but if you see in, in total comparative to the whole year the weightage given is quite yes yes ma'am it's just reduced to 30 marks and when you come to seminar seminar uh, seminar is for 15 marks and it's again part of stl this time constraint because we have so many students and the hours for anatomy and physiology they we have i think we have deduction of 20 to 30 hours in the last year since 2023 it's more difficult to take a seminar of whole class 
and then there are museum assignments for 15 marks and library assignments they are again under sdl and museum assignments for 15 marks it's impractical and i think there's too much of weightage and that too in the library assignments now if we see the other way around uh here this is the timetable here you have anatomy total 620 hours in which sdl is 10 hours now for 10 hours in sdl we are talking about 15 marks, 15 in seminar, 45 marks, sorry. Seminar, 15 marks, museum assignments, 15 marks, and library assignment, 15 marks. Now, this just 10 hours of assigned STL carries 45 marks, while continuous classes just get 30 marks. And uh, attendance, uh, they say 10 marks. Um, what I'm pres presuming, what I uh, interpret through this is that this it is bonus attendance beyond 75%. 75% is cut off in theory, and beyond 75%, I'm counting as 10%. Now I request the mentors and other participants to please help me get through this. How do we go about these distribution and how do we justify it? <clears throat> Dr. Kavit, can you just go on that first line of that table, splitting of these 500 marks? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Ma yes, this one. So uh, now, Kavita, we have to see what you have been doing and what you can, how you have to do what you are doing and put in this framework, you know, because mm -hmm. some things we are already doing. It's not that everything is new, yeah. like continuous class test. We are already doing what sort of continuous class test you are taking. Ma'am, we are taking Formative. stages and grand stages. <laughs> Pardon? Stages, ma'am. Anatomy, we have stages and grand stages. Yeah, so we are taking the part completion test, like region, one region okay. we complete so we and we'll the part take the completion test. test. Yes, yes. ma'am. So that uh, is fine for continuous class test. You can summate whatever, suppose you are taking part ending out of 25. Suppose there are six or seven systems, you add up all the marks and uh, put it out of, in, out of 30. That is what we have decided. Yes, ma'am. See, the continuous class no. test has to be a type of a formative test, which you are already taking. This is something which is actually not new for any of us. Yes. Because each of us are taking some kind of formative assessment. So after part ending, some are taking after system like physiology or uh, microbiology. So we can always add all the part ending exams and take out of, out of 30. That is what we have planned at our setup. So day-to-day -day assessment, previously what we are uh, counting, we can now count it as a cla continuous class test. Yes. yes. Part of Continuous day -day. class test, we are taking in the form of MCQs. Like you must be taking yes. in a different form. Every department has a different way of assessing. See, if this you compare, this thing, na, this is separate for theory, separate for practical. So continuous, you have uh, class test will be dealing with the topics of theory yes, you know so yes, uh, uh, dissection uh, vivas etc they will not be there the yes, theory part will be tested here yes that is what yes, I think. we are taking theory as well as practical taste at the completion of ah. one region so we can right. count theory part in the theory and in theory, practical, practical again in back, back, count it in home assignment for the theory we are counting the journal of gross anatomy here. Um, yes, ma'am. We are also doing the same. Yes. the uh, You have query about the museum study and the library assignment. So for the museum study, of course, it is counted under the self-directed learning, uh, learning. Whatever the 10 hours they are given for the self-directed learning, they are out of these 620. So... Uh, those hours of self-directed learning, we just guide them uh, or the introductory part and then they will work on that. So for the museum study, what we have done, we ask them to prepare the models. Okay, ma'am. And we have allotted them the models already and they uh, we have just kept one model competition yes, just before 15 days. So, uh, that competition marks we are just counting in this museum study. And for the library assignment at our college, what we have done? Yes, ma'am. Uh, we have allotted one short note. Yes, ma'am. To each and every student. 
like uh, role number one, we have allotted brachial plexus. Role number two, mammary gland. Role number three, shoulder joint, like that. And they have to prepare the whole short neck. Yes, ma'am. And they have to submit it to the teacher and then teacher will assign the mark for that particular short note. And library assignment, like they have to go into the library, refer the other textbooks and they have to uh, complete the whole short note. It's not like they are copied down it from the single book. Yes, ma'am. So also we have given them the list of books that... Uh, and we told them that for this short note, you just refer all these books and then prepare one short note. So it's not burden for the learner as well as it uh, clears this heading, library assignment. Yes, ma'am. I'm only thing that bothers me is that uh, I told my students like next week you have midterm uh, two, part completion two. And they would go for a bunk. They will not keep there because weightage of midterm two is too high in comparison to all yes. the stages. Hmm. Ma'am, so, value girti hai, to bache usi ki saap se kaam karte Part completion test I hi. You, Dr. Kavita, what are you mentioning? Ma'am, uh, uh, for example, we have grand test? stages. Yes. Like you have test of CVS, ma'am. So you have CVS okay. autonomic uh, nervous system. And if you conduct a test, students are not giving the test that much weighted as they are giving to the part completion test. I think world value has fallen. I mean, it's more for museum. Maybe it is a compensatory mechanism, museum and library assignments. Otherwise, their, uh, uh, their assessment may not shoot up. That could be other way. But overall, if you see, the students tend to buck this stages, but they are serious about midterm examinations. I can't hear you properly. Only thing yes, is that uh, we have to. One thing is important that what we are doing, we can't do take lot of burden, you know, because there are burdens related to ABS, there are burdens related to internals. So, as we try to put under all columns what we have already been doing, yes, and uh, students not taking into the formative exams. Uh, if we are uh, giving it properly, if we are giving a feedback, uh, then they do consider. And there is a certain section of students who are just uh, in the class to pass. They just want to pass the MBBS and then prepare for NEET. You can't do them. Yes, ma'am. Yes, so ma anybody uh, else who wants to share about these headaches? Dr. Suleika. Now, I would like to add something because uh, as uh, in first yes. year, they did the brainstorming. Similarly, we also brainstorming among our Dr. Supriya, aapki awaz itni nahi aa rahi hai. Beech beech mein kar rahi hai. Staff members. So what we were thinking for seminar, uh, thought that see in our department there are 15 residents and, and our batch is also of 250 we batch into these 25 okay. first test but where seminar dealing is concerned very assignments are concerned we thought that are 25 people which includes our faculty srs and our residents so that will make only 10 students per mentor Depending okay. upon the strength which you have at your setup also, you can try out a similar thing because we always say that there is something which is called peer lecturing, there is something which is called peer teaching. Everything doesn't have to be done by assistants and associates, professors. These kind of small activities uh, would be managed well even with our junior uh, faculty members. So first and foremost, so we have decided this. So it automatically eases out the burden of the department including the hod everybody is given responsibility of they are accountable for those 10 students throughout the whole term in relation to seminar in relation to museum home assignments so what we have thought in seminar that we will give one topic each uh, to be given to each student okay so 10 students per mentor you can think of a core topic the student shall read the topic, prepare a PowerPoint presentation of five or ten slides and present it 
during the uh, session on seminar presentation. So that we had decided that 4.30 to p.m. of the timetable slot, daily half an hour, we will uh, devote to this. Yes, that's a good idea. Actually. And that uh, presentation will be made in front of that mentor only. He might be the youngest uh, staff member, but he is in the position to give him or her the marks out of 15. 15 is quite a big number of marks. But I think if we assign responsibility to all, uh, justice will be done to this type. Otherwise, it can be just a pen and paper exercise. We are doing currently out of 100. We can simply multiply by 5 and it will become out of 500. But we don't want to do that. So if we can do something like this, give responsibility to everybody in the department, uh, and then uh, we can see how people are doing. You can also rate your residents in the way they are handling, and uh, it will be good learning experience for them also. Regarding the museum, what we had thought was that respective departments will identify the museum-related competencies. Like for in our subject of pharmacology, we have our drug samples and formulations, etc., in the museum. So we would give one formulation to the student. He will make a file of that formulation. What is the formulation made of? How you, in which diseases it is more preferable? What are the benefits of this formulation? What are the drawbacks of this formulation? How to administer the formulation? For example, these depot preparations of injections. So we can make one file out of that. So that also will be five or six pages per student. And who the student will be answerable to? That same person who is in charge of that batch of 10. Yes, ma'am. We can okay. do cataloging in turn. I will not know what Dr. Shikha's student has done and how she has rated. She won't know what I have done for my students. But we have the trust that each of us are doing our job well. Yes, ma'am. So somewhere we have to give the trust and uh, uh, reliance to everybody in the department if we want to have the full essence of continuous internal assessment. Yes, ma'am. Uh, then for um, other things, for library assignment, we thought that uh, often it is complained that uh, the library has so many books. We hardly see any student in the library. Like the journals are also so much budget is spent for the journal for NMC. So we thought in second year, student is capable of realizing what is an original research article, what is a letter to editor, what is a review article, what is a case series. So he or she will select each article, suppose the student is doing for pharmacology internal, he will select a drug related article. If he's doing for pathology internal, he will select a pathology related uh, article. That article should be an original research article. He will read through the article, get the hard copy, and that article will be again discussed at a convenient time with that mentor only. And the marks will be awarded out of library assignment is also 15. So that can be done. So we can decide whether we want for original research. We want them to go through a review article. They should not Google the article. They should go to the library, get the journal from the library, and then get the printout of the article. So that will actually justify and increase the presence of students in the library. The library is empty these days. I don't know about library at your setup, but what I see is only students reading on their own in library. Nobody is using journals. Very few people are using journal, which is actually a big investment by the Institute. I don't know whether Dr. Neeraj agrees to what I'm saying. I don't know. This is what I thought. This is what we have thought. Supriya, uh, Dr. Vishwas Jauhari has question to ask resident Dr. Vishwas Jauhari has chat box mein ah. ek question pucha hai ki can resident be used to help faculty for ug teaching absolutely absolutely residents have to be used for ug teaching it is their training because many it of is them their training yes definitely colleges many of them will be teachers in future so if we don't impart such training we are actually doing wrong we have to train them and one of the i think one of the exercise in the graduate Examination is a come, micro I have a question, session. Yes. Uh, Ma'am, जो भी क्लास होती हैं हम लोगों की वो तो फैकल्टी के नाम से होती हैं. अगर आप उनको इसको देते हैं क्लास देने के लिए, 
तो फिर फैकल्टी के लेक्चर्स काउंट नहीं हो एमसी का जो नया फॉर्मेट आया डिक्लेरेशन फॉर्म में उसमें तो लिखा हुआ है ये चीज कि आपने क्या क्या आप एक फैकल्टी को इंचार्ज रखिए उस टीचिंग का एक फैकल्टी का नाम ही दीजिए अंदर उसमें सब डिवीजन कर दीजिए ओके okay. आप जो टेन को दे रहे हैं वो कोई स्मॉल ग्रुप टीचिंग में तो आने नहीं वाला एनएमसी तो मांग रही है स्मॉल ग्रुप टीचिंग ट्यूटोरियल लेक्चर वो तो ये मांग रही है ना इसका हिसाब मांग रही है वो ये नहीं मांग रही कि लाइब्रेरी असाइनमेंट किसने लिया म्यूजियम स्टडी किसने लिया ओके सर आई लाइक टू से समथिंग हियर नहीं व्हेन रेजिडेंट से तो हमारा वो इफेक्ट होगा ही नहीं किसी भी हालत में हां या uh ma'am when uh, residents are there in clinical subjects usually they are not asked to take yes. classes but they do take clinical classes so you can yes. uh, a lot other works except theory you can uh, theory lectures you can a lot other works to the srs they do get a teaching experience of 3 hours once their residency is completed in srs are a proper uh, uh, mature faculty srs are now counted as faculty yes ma'am the form is also changed yes Yeah, which we uh, filled up. Even SR tutor who are just plain MBBS, they are all under faculty, so they should be used maximum. Yeah, ma'am, and they are also supposed to mention the lectures taken and practical taken by them. Yes, uh, the new has said that you have to even SR's requirement. All SR, what SR has done, it has to be submitted. Yes, ma'am. Now hey, this Dr. thing, which Peter is a here. continuous internal assessment theory, we what we have said. that we can't have a new timetable for all this so you know our uh, lecture timetable is 3 to 5 pm practical sgt so we have made it 3 to 430 and then 430 to 5 we have given a new slot of uh, all this uh, seminar home th- those that will be dealt in that slot aur jis jo bhi department plan kar raha hai ki hame ye aaj karna hai evaluation seminar ka wo practical us din thoda chhota leke 4:15 को स्टार्ट कर देने का प्रेजेंटेशन स्मॉल ग्रुप प्रेजेंटेशन अपने अपने ऑफिसेस में मैम कैन आई ऐड एक्चुअली वी आर ऑलरेडी डूइंग वी आर वी गॉट अ बैच ऑफ 150 स्टूडेंट्स तो हमारे पास 10 फैकल्टीज हैं इंक्लूडिंग एसआरस सो हमने सबके अंडर में 15 15 बच्चे डाल दिए हैं जो उनके साथ पूरे कोर्स के टाइम पे रहते हैं उन्हीं कोई वो लोग जर्नल करेक्शन कराते हैं कोई उनको प्रॉब्लम्स हैं कुछ समझ में नहीं आ रहा है कुछ भी डिस्कस करना है इवन द आंसर शीट्स जो हम उनको बाद में फीडबैक के लिए दिखाते हैं वो भी वो अपने अपने मेंटर के साथ में जाके देखते हैं जिससे कि उनकी क्या गड़बड़ हुआ क्या प्रॉब्लम है कहाँ पे डेफिशियंट रहे वो कर दिया तो अभी ये म्यूजियम स्टडी के लिए ही थोड़ा सा कॉन्सेप्ट समझ में नहीं आ रहा है सेमिनार भी हम कलेक्टिव कराते हैं सारे बच्चों का उसमें हम मेंटर्स का डिफरेंट टाइप का रोटेशन कर देते हैं और उसमें हमारे तीन से चार मिनिमम फैकल्टी वहां रहते हैं उनको इंडिविजुअली मार्क्स देने के लिए और फिर हम उसका एवरेज करते हैं टू रिमूव द बायस कि मेरा स्टूडेंट है या किसी और का स्टूडेंट है करके पर ये म्यूजियम स्टडी में हमारे यहाँ पे एक फैकल्टी थे दूसरे सब्जेक्ट में उनका कॉन्सेप्ट ये था कि स्टूडेंट्स को हम फैकल्टी कुछ आर्टिकल्स शेयर करें and let library them make assignment study for so museum study or library assignment library sorry library hmm. assignment mein ki hum unko so kuch articles de but student yeah. khud ja ke choose kare to library ka worth pata chalega library thodi crowded lagegi abhi to koi hota hi nahi hai library mein koi journal dekhta bhi nahi hai kya aur unko bhi pata chale ki apne subject ki kaun kaun si journal hai kaun si explore karni chahiye to ki journal kaun si hai pharmacy kaun si hai unke paas hai time dhoondenge और लाएंगे फिर ऐसा हो दो चार लेके आए और उसमें से कोई मेंटर को बताना है कि ये वाला करो तो ठीक है पर उनको ढूंढने दो पीजी के लिए तो करते हैं हम यूजीस के लिए भी अभी ऐसे ही करना पड़ेगा हाँ, अभी यूजीस का भी ये करें अच्छा और म्यूजियम स्टडी के लिए मैम म्यूजियम स्टडी के लिए माइक्रोबायोलॉजी में तो हमारे पास म्यूजियम है ऑलरेडी एक हम्म तो उसमें मॉडल्स हम बनवा सकते हैं हम हर साल अलग अलग जैसे चार्ट्स बनवाते हैं कभी जिस डिपार्टमेंट में भी म्यूजियम नहीं हो वो लोग चार्ट का भी पूछ सकते हैं कि यू कैन आस्क फॉर प्रिपेयरिंग द चार्ट्स एल और प्रिपेयर वन लिस्ट ऑफ चार्ट्स फॉर योर डिपार्टमेंट एंड आस्क देम टू प्रिपेयर नो हियर आई वॉन्ट टू पुट अ पॉइंट 
yes now uh, we should actually think of uh, something integrated now what is happening is that suppose in our institute first of all uh, anatomy department has given that student will make the model now physiology department will give that they will make a concept map then the biochemistry department will give that they will make some chart same way research if they are separating same way museum if they are separating now why we should not think of this that museum does not exist practically in the physiology or in the biochemistry it exists in the anatomy so we should make a integrated thing that we are going into the anatomy museum and then a integrated and part of anatomy part of physiology part of biochemistry is completed in the museum so it will reduce the time and some document or some part is created that we can they can also revise during examination otherwise what will happen at present uh, they will go to library they will do it very well jo sincere student hai wo to bahut acha karenge lekin final exam mein agar koi question nahi bataya to is cheez ka unko koi benefit nahi milne wala it is not the american system jahan portfolio develop ho aur wo summary to mein bhi add ho to mere khayal se ye cheez hame dekhna chahiye ki how much uh, this uh, work or preparing ppt how much we are increasing of the student otherwise maybe they may they may be struggling even more in the summative examination aisa na ho i mean this is up to teacher yeah, this department mein museum nahi hai uske liye this is a very good option suppose physio or biochemistry mein museum nahi hai one person ha wo samajh kya kar rahe hai biochemistry doesn't have a museum museum related so, cheez create integration kar sakte hain सपोज लिवर है सैंपल है एनाटॉमी में तो लिवर की फिजियोलॉजी और लिवर का बायोकेमिस्ट्री नहीं बाय एनी मींस पॉसिबल म्यूजियम ये कर सकते हैं एक आईडिया सर इट्स अ वेरी गुड आईडिया इससे स्टूडेंट्स के ऊपर लोड भी कम हो जाएगा हम वही 150 स्टूडेंट्स को सब्जेक्ट्स के बीच में डिवाइड कर सकते हैं ये सारे के सारे अन अनाउंस्ड होना चाहिए मतलब सेशन में आए सेशन में ही तैयारी की वहीं पे ग्रेडिंग हो गया वहीं सारा काम खत्म हो गया होमवर्क के तरीके से भी नहीं देना चाहिए वो तो सारा एआई से करवाते हैं रिपीट करते हैं व्हाट इज द बेनिफिट एंड दे आर दे आर हैविंग सो मच कैरिकुलम टू कवर हाउ दे कैन कंसंट्रेट ऑन दीज थिंग्स तो सेशन में ही कंप्लीट हो जाए अभी हमने थोड़ा सा रिसर्च का ट्राई किया वैन फिजोलॉजी में जो मैंने एक वीडियो भी थोड़ा छोटा सा डाला है उस वीडियो में फिजोलॉजी का भी रिसर्च कम्प्लीट हुआ है और बायो का भी रिसर्च कम्प्लीट हुआ है बायोकेमिस्ट्री वाले उसी रिसर्च का एक पार्ट लिखवाएंगे सेशन में तो ऐसा थोड़ा ट्राई किया है अब वो रिसर्च का भी एनाटॉमी में अलग हो फिजियोलॉजी में अलग हो बायोकेमिस्ट्री में अलग हो आएगा कहाँ से इतना टाइम मुझे ऐसा लगता है सर नॉट ओनली दैट सेकंड प्रॉफ में करीब करीब 19 तो स्टूडेंट्स को थ्योरी एग्जाम देने हैं प्रैक्टिकल अलग उसके हाँ, साथ में वो बर्डन भी है उससे नहीं मतलब हम इंटीग्रेट एक्चुअली नहीं कर पा रहे हमें सब्जेक्ट में लिखा है मतलब हमें अलग ही एग्जाम लेना है ऐसा नहीं है एनएमसी तो चाह रही है अब ज्यादा से ज्यादा इंटीग्रेट करो तो मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि ये सब इंटीग्रेट करके इसको और फिजिबल बनाना चाहिए यस सर दिस इज अ गुड आइडिया और जब स्टूडेंट को भी लगेगा ना कि हमारे रिसर्च का तीनों सब्जेक्ट का 2020 एक खत्म हो गया एक बड़ा पार्ट खत्म हो गया तो थोड़ा उस उनको भी आएगा और मेरे ख्याल से इफेक्ट भी ज्यादा आएगा yes, और रिपीटेशन भी हो सकता है अब रिसर्च में अगर फर्स्ट ईयर में है तो एनाटॉमी में भी शायद रिसर्च का ओरिएंटेशन ही होगा रिसर्च क्वेश्चन बनवाएंगे सेम थिंग बायोकेमिस्ट्री में करेंगे सेम थिंग फिजोलॉजी में करेंगे तो रिपीटेटिवनेस भी होगी क्योंकि पॉसिबली इंटर डिपार्टमेंटल मीटिंग तो होगी नहीं तो मुझे ऐसा भी लगता है कि ये बहुत मतलब इसमें काफी इंटीग्रेशन की पॉसिबिलिटी है दैट शुड बी एक्चुअली प्रैक्टिस्ड यस वी कैन थिंक अबाउट इट क्योंकि अभी हम अपना देख रहे हैं कि हम कर पा रहे हैं कि नहीं कर पा रहे हैं लेकिन अगर एक स्टूडेंट के पर्सपेक्टिव से देखें तो बहुत ज्यादा उसको हैंडल करने का हो रहा है एंड इट विल डेविएट देम टू यूज रादर केक का दूसरे ने कर लिया ए से करवा लिया ये करवा लिया वो ऐसे मीन्स में शायद इंटर हो जाएंगे अगर हमने उसको फिजिबल नहीं बनाया और इफ वी हैव नॉट गिवन देम इनफ टाइम टू प्रिपेयर फॉर देयर फाइनल एग्जामिनेशन तो ये हमें जरूर सोचना चाहिए मुझे तो ऐसा लगता है यस सर सर ऐसा भी कर सकते हैं 
सर ऐसा भी कर सकते हैं आपने डॉक्टर का टाइम सर टू मिनट्स बचे हैं शुड आई रीस्टार्ट इट इट इज गोइंग टू क्लोज और शुड आई जस्ट रश अप नहीं आप कोई पॉइंट बचाओ तो बोल दीजिए सर आई कम टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड क्विकली सर आई वाज टॉकिंग अबाउट द थ्योरी एंड देन आई स्विच टू प्रैक्टिकल्स सो प्रैक्टिकल्स में सर द सेम थिंग इज रिसर्च यू टॉक्ड अबाउट ठीक है सर रिसर्च आपने कहा कि हम मर्ज कर सकते हैं तीनों डिपार्टमेंट्स की दैट इज ओके सर आई वांट टू टॉक अबाउट जर्नल एंड दिस रिकॉर्ड पोर्टफोलियो हाउ हाउ डू यू मेंटेन हाउ आर यू डूइंग व्हाट आर यू डूइंग रिगार्डिंग दिस सर जर्नल एंड लॉग बुक यस सर 40 40 मार्क्स यू कैन सी कंटीन्यूअस इंटरनल असेसमेंट सर यहां पे 100 नंबर कम हो गए ना प्रैक्टिकल के 300 है पर 200 मार्क्स में ये बढ़ गया जर्नल रिकॉर्ड और रिसर्च ये ऐड हो गई है तो व्हाट डू वी हैव टू डू अबाउट दिस जर्नल रिकॉर्ड बुक एंड पोर्टफोलियो जर्नल विल बी मार्क्ड आउट ऑफ 40 द जर्नल व्हिच दे ऑलरेडी हैव जर्नल तो पहले थी लॉग बुक ऐड हुई है इसको हम पास सर मैं 40 में इसको मार्क्स दे रहा हूं सर 150 मार्क्स है ना सर ये डिवाइड हुए हैं सर्टिफाइबल स्किल्स एट कॉम एसवी लैब एक्टिव रिसर्च में जर्नल अलग इज अ सेपरेट हेडिंग फॉर 40 मार्क्स हां तो जर्नल तो एनाटॉमी में जैसे हमारी दो हिस्टोलॉजी और एम्ब्रियोलॉजी की जर्नल है उसके हमने ये 40 मार्क्स रखे हैं ऐसे सब सब्जेक्ट में अपनी अपनी जर्नल होती है ना यस जर्नल तो थी अब लॉग बुक की और पार्शियल एक एंट्री हुई है तो थोड़ा लिखवाते हैं उसके बेसिस पे देते हैं सर हर सब्जेक्ट में एनएमसी ने पोर्टफोलियो का नाम दिया है इट इज द प्रूफ ऑफ हाउ द स्टूडेंट हैज रीच्ड द स्किल इसमें थोड़ा रिफ्लेक्शन वगैरह पोर्टफोलियो पुट द जर्नल एज अ पोर्टफोलियो we already have a, a journal ma'am in our department microbiology jo hum students ko jaise gram staining kiya usne kar liya logbook mein entry ho gayi certifiable skill ma'am 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 right okay good evening dr neeraj sir i was not able to find you in the group I think doctor Kavita, आप start कर सकते हो। I think sir, I will proceed. हाँ हाँ। Good evening, faculty members and friends. The agenda of this meeting is implementation of continuous internal assessment. Initially, there were hard and uh, there were no hard and fast regulations convert, uh, governing the internal assessment. But in CBME regulations released in June first, twenty twenty three, the logistics were added. Now they were further modified on first August. Now currently we don't have any module pertaining to these new additions, so we are trying to figure out a way through this meeting. And I'm grateful to faculty of Shrimati NHL MMC Ahmedabad, especially Dr. Kanan Shah, who shared her documents with me, no. and also Dr. Neeraj Mahajan for his support. So I'll proceed with the meeting today, which is regarding internal assessment 2023. now what nmc has guided us is that regular periodic examination shall be conducted throughout the course now there shall be no less than three internal assessments uh, examinations in each subject of first and second professional year and no less than two examination in each subject of the final year now this we have been doing now and and end of clinical posting clinical assessment shall be conducted for each clinical posting in each professional year when subjects are taught in more than one phase the internal assessment must be done in each phase and must contribute proportionately to final assessment means that for example in medicine and surgery we take start taking assessment from second year third year and final year and they should equally contribute now internal assessment day to day records and log book including required skill certification should be given importance in internal assessment internal assessment should be based on competencies and the 
the final internal assessment in broad specialties for example surgery and allied specialties etc shall comprise of marks from all the constituent specialties the proportion of the marks of each constituent speciality shall be determined by the time of instruction allotted to each now the previous part we have already learned but this was added and i'm taking up in the uh, this part from the 1st august uh, document now there was another document which was released on 1st june and thereafter on 12th june another document was released but this component was changed uh, especially the continuous internal assessment so i am taking up the latest one so if we take that they have mentioned here wise department of anatomy physiology and biochemistry they have taken the phase phase uh, some subjects in phase wise especially the first year one and you know they have divided into formative assessment and continuous internal assessment and they have given total marks that is around 500 now if we move towards the theory uh, formative assessment is per se as it was in earlier time like it was first part completion test theory for 100 marks second part completion test for 100 marks again and send up or prelim theory for 200 marks so this totals up to 400 but if we see continuous internal assessment it rounds up about 100 marks but it has been subdivided further so there is clear demarcation first if we talk about how home assignments it's been allotted 15 marks then seminar 15 marks continuous class test for 30 marks and self directed learning Uh, which is further divided into museum study and library assignments for 15 marks each uh, marks each and theory attendance for 10 marks which contributes total to 500 marks now this is clear there is no doubt about the formative assessment but if we talk about the internal assessment theory when i was calculating it i had certain doubts now if we talk about the home assignments we usually give the files for example we have the gross anatomy file we have histology files and embryology files and we may count it as 15 marks because that is something not done in the college itself and then we have continuous class test for 30 marks see we see have uh, besides the part completion test we have grand stages and stages uh, in theory we'll be talking about the grand stages that they are the only written test but if you see in, in total comparative to the whole year the weightage given is quite yes ma'am yes ma'am it's just reduced to 30 marks and when you come to seminar seminar uh seminar is for 15 marks and it's again part of stl there's time constraint because we have so many students and the hours for anatomy and physiology they we have i think we have deduction of 20 to 30 yeah, in the last year since 2023 it's more difficult to take a seminar whole class and then there are museum assignments for 15 marks and library assignments they are again under stl and museum assignments for 15 marks it's impractical and i think there's too much of weightage and that too in the library assignments now if we see the other way round uh here this is the time table here you have an at me total 620 hours in which sdl is 10 hours now for 10 hours in sdl we are talking about 15 marks 15 in seminar 45 marks sorry seminar 15 marks museum assignments 15 marks and library assignment 15 marks now this just 10 hours of assigned stl carries 45 marks while continuous classes just get 30 marks and uh, attendance uh, they say 10 marks um, what i'm pres presuming what i uh, interpret through this is that this it is bonus attendance beyond 75% 75% is cut off in theory and beyond 75% i am counting as 10% now i request the mentors and other participants to please help me get through this how do we go about these distribution and how do we justify it <clears throat> dr kavit can you just go on that first line of that table splitting of these 500 marks yes ma'am yes ma yes this yes, way so uh, now kavita we have to see what you have been doing and what you can how you have to do what you are doing and put in this framework you know because mm -hmm. some things we are already doing it's not that everything is new yeah, like continuous class test we are already doing what sort of continuous class test you are taking ma'am we are taking Formative. stages and grand stages pardon stages ma'am anatomy we have stages and grand stages 
yeah so we are taking the part completion test like region one region okay. we complete so we and we'll the part take completion the test, test. Yes, yes. ma'am. So that uh, is fine for continuous class test. You can summate whatever. Suppose you are taking part ending out of twenty-five. Suppose there are six or seven systems. You add up all the marks and uh, put it out of in out of thirty. That is what we have decided. Yes, ma'am. See, the continuous class the test has to be a type of a formative test, which you are already taking. This is something which is actually not new for any of us. Yes, because each of us are taking some kind of formative assessment. So after part ending, some are taking after system like physiology or uh, microbiology. So we can always add all the part ending exams and take out of out of thirty. That is what we have planned at our setup. So day to day assessment. Previously, what we are uh, counting, we can now count it as a cla continuous class test. Yes. yes. part of continuous class test we are taking in the form of mcqs like you must be taking yes. in different form every department has a different way of assessing see if this you compare this thing na this is separate for theory separate for practical so continuous you uh, class test will be dealing with the topics of theory yes ma'am you know? so yes, uh, uh, dissection uh, vivas etc they will not be there the yes, theory part will be tested here Yes, that is what yes, I. Yes, we are taking theory as well as practical test at the completion of ah. one region. So we can right. count theory part in the theory and in theory, practical, practical again we count it. In home assignment for the theory, we are counting the journal of gross anatomy here. Um. Yes, ma'am. We are also doing the same. Yes. The uh, you have query about the museum study and the library assignment. So for the museum study, of course, it is counted under the self-directed learning. Uh, learning, whatever the ten hours they are given for the self-directed learning, they are out of these six twenty. So uh, those hours of self-directed learning, we just guide them uh, or the introductory part, and then they will work on that. So for the museum study, what we have done, we ask them to prepare the models okay ma'am and we have allotted them the models already and they uh, we have just kept one model competition yes, just before 15 days so uh, that competition marks we are just counting in this museum study and for the library assignment at our college what we have done yes ma'am uh, we have allotted one short not Yes, ma'am. To each and every student, like uh, roll number one, we have allotted brachial plexus. Roll number two, mammary gland. Roll number three, shoulder joint, like that. And they have to prepare the whole short note. Yes, ma'am. And they have to submit it to the teacher, and then teacher will assign the mark for that particular short note. And library assignment, like they have to go into the library, refer the other textbooks, and they have to. uh complete the whole short note it's not like they are copy down it from the single book yes ma'am so also we have given them the list of books that, uh, and we told them that for this short note you just refer all these books and then prepare one short note so it's not burden for the learner as well as it uh, clears this heading library assignment Yes, ma'am. I'm only thing that bothers me is that uh, I told my students like next week you have midterm uh, two part completion two, and they would go for a bunk. They will not keep there because weightage of midterm two is too high in comparison to all yes. the stages. Hmm. Ma'am, ये जब so, value गिरती है तो बच्चे उसी हिसाब से काम करते हैं. Part completion test आएगी. Can you tell me, Doctor Chavita, what are you mentioning? Ma'am, uh, uh, for example, we have grand stages. stages. Like you have test of CVS, ma'am. So you have CVS okay. autonomic uh, autonomic nervous system, and if you conduct the test, students are not giving the test that much weighted as they are giving to the part completion test. I think world value has fallen. I mean, it's more for museum. Maybe it is a compensatory mechanism. Museum and library assignments. Otherwise, their uh, uh, their assessment may not shoot up. 
that could be other way but overall if you see the students tend to buck this stages but they are serious about midterm examinations actually i can't hear you properly only thing yes, is that uh, we have to one thing is important that what we are doing we can't do take lot of burden you know because there are burdens related to abs there are burdens related to internals so as we try to put under all columns what we have already been doing yes ma'am and uh, students not taking into the formative exams uh, if we are uh, giving it properly if we are giving a feedback uh, then they do consider and there is a certain section of students who are just uh, in the class to pass they just want to pass the mbbs and then prepare for neat you can't do them yes ma'am yes, so ma anybody uh, as who wants to share about these headaches dr suleka now i would like to add something because uh, as uh, in first yes. year they did the brainstorming similarly we also brainstorming among our डॉक्टर सुप्रिया आपकी आवाज इतनी नहीं आ रही है बीच बीच में कर डिपार्टमेंट देर आर फिफ्टीन रेजिडेंट एंड एंड आवर बैच इज ऑल्सो टू फिफ्टी बैच इन टू दीज ट्वेंटी फाइव Okay. first test but where seminar dealing is concerned very assignments are concerned we thought that our 25 people which includes our faculty srs and our residents so that will make only 10 students per mentor depending okay. upon the strength which you have at your setup also you can try out a similar thing because we always say that there is something which is called peer lecturing there is something which is called peer teaching everything doesn't have to be done by assistants and associates professors these kind of small activities uh, would be managed well even with our junior uh, faculty members so first and foremost so we have decided this so it automatically eases out the burden of the department including the hod everybody is given responsibility of they are accountable for those 10 students throughout the whole term in relation to seminar in relation to museum home assignments so what we have thought in seminar that we will give one topic each uh, to be given to each student okay so 10 students per mentor you can think of a core topic the student shall read the topic prepare a powerpoint presentation of 5 or 10 slides and present it during the uh, session on seminar presentation so that we had decided that 4:30 to pm of the time table slot daily half an hour we will uh, devote to this yes that is good idea Actually, and that uh, presentation will be made in front of that mentor only he might be the youngest uh, staff member but he is in the position to give him or her the marks out of 15 15 is quite a big number of marks but i think if we assign responsibility to all uh, justice will be done to this type otherwise it can be just a pen and paper exercise we are doing currently out of 100 we can simply multiply by 5 and it will become out of 500 but we don't want to do that so if we can do something like this give responsibility to everybody in the department uh, and then uh, we can see how people are doing you can also rate your residents in the way they are handling and uh, it will be good learning experience for them also regarding the museum what we had thought was that respective departments will identify the museum related competencies like for in our subject of pharmacology we have our drug samples and formulations etc in the museum so we would give one formulation to the student he will make a file of that formulation what is the formulation made of how you in which diseases it is more preferable what are the benefits of this formulation what are the drawbacks of this formulation how to administer the formulation for example these depot preparations of injections so we can make one file out of that so that also will be five or six pages per student and who the student will be answerable to that same person who is in charge of that batch of 10 
Yes, ma'am. We can okay. do cataloging in terms. I will not know what Dr. Shikha's student has done and how she has rated. She won't know what I have done for my students. But we have the trust that each of us are doing our job well. Yes, ma'am. So somewhere we have to give the trust and uh, uh, reliance to everybody in the department if we want to have the full assent of continuous internal assessment. Yes, ma'am. Uh, then for. Um, other things for library assignment we thought that uh, often it is complained that uh, the library has so many books we hardly see any student in the library like the journals are also so much budget is spent for the journal for nmc so we thought in second year student is capable of realizing what is an original research article what is a letter to editor what is a review article what is a case series so he or she will select each article suppose the student is doing for pharmacology internal he will select a drug related article if he is doing for pathology internal he will select a pathology related uh, article that article should be an original research article he will read through the article get the hard copy and that article will be again discussed at a convenient time with that mentor only and the marks will be awarded out of library assignment is also 15 so that can be done so we can decide whether we want for original research we want them to go through a review article they should not google the article they should go to the library get the journal from the library and then get the print out of the article so that will actually justify and increase the presence of students in the library the library is empty these days i don't know about library at your setup but what i see is only students reading on their own in library nobody is using journals very few people are using journal which is actually a big investment by the institute i don't know whether dr neeraj agrees to what i am saying i don't know this is what i thought this is what we have thought uh, supriya dr vishwas johri ne question Pardon? pucha hai ki resident doc, dr ah. vishwas johri ne चैट बॉक्स में हाँ. एक क्वेश्चन पूछा है कि कैन रेसिडेंट बी यूज्ड टू हेल्प फैकल्टी फॉर यूजी टीचिंग रेसिडेंट्स हैव टू बी यूज्ड फॉर यूजी टीचिंग इट इज देयर ट्रेनिंग बिकॉज मेनी ऑफ देयर ट्रेनिंग यस डेफिनेटली कॉलेजेस मेनी ऑफ देम विल बी टीचर्स इन फ्यूचर सो इफ यू डोंट इंपार्ट सच ट्रेनिंग वी आर एक्चुअली डूइंग रॉन्ग वी हैव टू ट्रेन देम एंड वन ऑफ द आई थिंक वन ऑफ द एक्सरसाइज इन द ग्रेजुएट examination is a have, micro I have a question, session yes uh ma'am jo bhi class hoti hai hum logon ki wo to faculty ke naam se hoti hai agar aap usko usko dete hain class dene ke liye to fir faculty ke lectures count nahi ho mc ka jo naya format aaya declaration form mein usme to likha hua hai ye cheez ki aapne kya kya aap ek faculty ko in charge rakhiye us teaching ka ek faculty ka naam hi dijiye andar usme sub division kar dijiye okay aap jo 10 ko de rahe hain wo koi small group teaching mein to aane nahi wala nmc to mang rahi hai small group teaching tutorial lecture wo to ye mang rahi hai na iska hisab mang rahi hai wo ye nahi mang rahi कि लाइब्रेरी असाइनमेंट किसने लिया म्यूजियम स्टडी किसने लिया ओके सर आई वुड लाइक टू से समथिंग हियर व्हेन रेजिडेंट से तो हमारा वो इफेक्ट होगा ही नहीं किसी भी हालत में हां या uh ma'am when uh, residents are there in clinical subjects usually they are not asked to take yes. any classes but they do take clinical classes so you can yes. uh, a lot other works except theory you can uh, theory lectures you can a lot other works to the srs they do get a teaching experience of 3 hours once their residency is completed in srs are a proper uh, uh, mature faculty srs are now counted as faculty yes and among the form the has also changed yes yeah which we uh, filled up even sr tutor who are just plain mbbs they are all under faculty so they should be used maximum ha ma'am and they are also supposed to mention the lectures taken and practical taken by them yes uh, the new has said that you have to even srs requirement all sr what sr has done it has to be submitted yes ma'am now Ek this Dr. thing which Kiran is a hai. continuous internal assessment theory we what we have said that we can't have a new timetable for all this 
so you know our uh, lecture time table is 3 to 5 pm practical sgd so we have made it 3 to 4 30 and then 4 30 to 5 we have given a new slot of uh, all this uh, seminar homer Th those that will be dealt in that slot or just joby department plan kar raha hai ki hume aaj karna hai evaluation seminar ka wo practical us din thoda chhota leke 4:15 ko start kar dene ka presentation small group presentation apne apne offices mein ma'am can i add uh, actually we are already doing we are uh, we've got a batch of 150 students so we have 10 yeah. faculties hai, including srs so we have sabke under mein 15 15 bacche dal diye hain jo unke sath pure course ke time pe rehte hain unhi ko hi wo log journal correction karate hain koi unko problems hain kuch samajh mein nahi aa raha hai kuch bhi discuss karna hai even the answer sheets jo hum unko baad mein feedback ke liye dikhate hain wo bhi wo apne apne mentor ke sath mein ja ke dekhte hain jisse ki unki kya gadbad hua kya problem hai kahan pe deficient rahe wo kar diya तो अभी ये म्यूजियम स्टडी के लिए ही थोड़ा सा कांसेप्ट समझ में नहीं आ रहा है सेमिनार भी हम कलेक्टिव कराते हैं सारे बच्चों का उसमें हम मेंटर्स का डिफरेंट टाइप का रोटेशन कर देते हैं और उसमें हमारे तीन से चार मिनिमम फैकल्टी वहां रहते हैं उनको इंडिविजुअली मार्क्स देने के लिए और फिर हम उसका एवरेज करते हैं ओके टू रिमूव द बायस कि मेरा स्टूडेंट है या किसी और का स्टूडेंट है करके पर ये म्यूजियम स्टडी में हमारे यहां पे एक फैकल्टी थे दूसरे सब्जेक्ट में उनका कांसेप्ट ये था कि स्टूडेंट्स को हम फैकल्टी कुछ आर्टिकल्स शेयर करें एंड लेट देम मेक म्यूजियम स्टडी म्यूजियम स्टडी और लाइब्रेरी असाइनमेंट लाइब्रेरी सॉरी लाइब्रेरी असाइनमेंट में कि हम उनको कुछ आर्टिकल्स दें बट स्टूडेंट खुद जाके चूज करे तो लाइब्रेरी का वर्थ पता चलेगा लाइब्रेरी थोड़ी क्राउडेड लगेगी अभी तो कोई होता ही नहीं है लाइब्रेरी में कोई जर्नल देखता भी नहीं है क्या और है और उनको भी पता चले कि अपने सब्जेक्ट की कौन-कौन सी जर्नल है कौन सी एक्सप्लोर करनी चाहिए तो की जर्नल कौन सी है फार्मेसी कौन सी है तो उनके पास है टाइम ढूंढेंगे और लाएंगे फिर ऐसा हो दो चार लेके आए और उसमें से कोई मेंटर को बताना है कि ये वाला करो तो ठीक है पर उनको ढूंढने दो पीजीस के लिए तो करते हैं हम यूजीस के लिए भी अभी ऐसे ही करना पड़ेगा हां अभी यूजीस का भी ये करें अच्छा मैम म्यूजियम स्टडी के लिए हम्म मैम म्यूजियम स्टडी के लिए माइक्रोबायोलॉजी में तो हमारे पास म्यूजियम है ऑलरेडी एक हम्म हम्म तो उसमें मॉडल्स हम बनवा सकते हैं हम हर साल अलग-अलग जैसे चार्ट्स बनवाते हैं कभी जिस डिपार्टमेंट में भी म्यूजियम नहीं हो वो लोग चार्ट का भी पूछ सकते हैं कि यू कैन आस्क फॉर प्रिपेयरिंग द चार्ट्स Hello, prepare one list of charts for your department and ask them to prepare. Now, uh, here I want to put a point. Yes. Now, uh, we should actually think of uh, something integrated. Now, what is happening is that, suppose in our institute, first of all, uh, anatomy department has given that a student will make the model. Now, physiology department will give that they will make a concept map. Then the biochemistry department will give that they will make some chart. Same way research if they are separating, same way museum if they are separating. Now why we should not think of this that museum does not exist practically in the physiology or in the biochemistry. It exists in the anatomy. So we should make an integrated thing that we are going into the anatomy museum and then an integrated and part of anatomy, part of physiology, part of biochemistry is completed in the museum. So it will reduce the time and some document or some part is created that we can they can also revise during examination. Otherwise, what will happen? At present, uh, they will go to library. They will do it very well. Jo sincere student hai, wo to bahut achha karenge. Lekin final exam mein agar koi question nahi bataya, to is seech ka unko koi benefit nahi milne wala. It is not the American system jahan portfolio develop ho aur wo summer to mein bhi add ho. To mere khayal se ye cheez hume dekhna chahiye ki how much uh, this uh, work or preparing PPT, how much we are increasing of the student. Otherwise, maybe they may, they may be struggling even more in the summative examination. I mean, this is up to teachers. This department may museum nahi hai, uske liye, this is a very good option. Suppose physio or biochemistry may museum nahi hai, one person Haan, somehow, written, kya biochemistry doesn't have a museum. Museum related so, cheese. Integration kar sakte hai. 
सपोज लिवर है सैंपल है एनाटॉमी में तो लिवर की फिजियोलॉजी और लिवर का बायोकेमिस्ट्री नहीं बाय एनी मींस पॉसिबल म्यूजियम इधर सर वेरी गुड आईडिया सर इट्स अ वेरी गुड आईडिया इससे स्टूडेंट्स के ऊपर लोड भी कम हो जाएगा हम वही 150 स्टूडेंट्स को सब्जेक्ट्स के बीच में डिवाइड कर सकते हैं ये सारे के सारे इसके अन अनाउंस्ड होना चाहिए मतलब सेशन में आए सेशन में ही तैयारी की वहीं पे ग्रेडिंग हो गया वहीं सारा काम खत्म हो गया होमवर्क के तरीके से भी नहीं देना चाहिए वो तो सारा एआई से करवाते हैं रिपीट करते हैं व्हाट इज द बेनिफिट एंड दे आर दे आर हैविंग सो मच करिकुलम टू कवर हाउ दे कैन कंसंट्रेट ऑन दीस थिंग्स तो सेशन में ही कंप्लीट हो जाए अभी हमने थोड़ा सा रिसर्च का ट्राई किया व्हेन फिजियोलॉजी में जो मैंने एक वीडियो भी थोड़ा छोटा सा डाला है उस वीडियो में फिजियोलॉजी का भी रिसर्च कंप्लीट हुआ है और बायोकेमिस्ट्री का भी रिसर्च कंप्लीट हुआ है बायोकेमिस्ट्री वाले उसी रिसर्च का एक पार्ट लिखवाएंगे सेशन में तो ऐसा थोड़ा ट्राई किया है अब वो रिसर्च का भी एनाटॉमी में अलग हो फिजियोलॉजी में अलग हो बायोकेमिस्ट्री में अलग हो आएगा कहाँ से इतना टाइम मुझे ऐसा लगता है थ्योरी एग्जाम देने हैं प्रैक्टिकल अलग उसके साथ में ये तो भी है अलग ही एग्जाम लेना है ऐसा नहीं है एन एम सी तो चाह रही है आप ज्यादा से ज्यादा इंटीग्रेट करो तो मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि ये सब इंटीग्रेट करके इसको और फिजिबल बनाना चाहिए यस सर दिस इज अ गुड आइडिया और जब स्टूडेंट को भी लगेगा ना कि हमारे रिसर्च का तीनों सब्जेक्ट का 2020 एक खत्म हो गया एक बड़ा पार्ट खत्म हो गया तो थोड़ा उस उनको भी आएगा और मेरे ख्याल से इफेक्ट भी ज्यादा आएगा यस सर और रिपीटेशन भी हो सकता है अब रिसर्च में अगर फर्स्ट ईयर में है तो एनाटॉमी में भी शायद रिसर्च का ओरिएंटेशन ही होगा रिसर्च क्वेश्चन बनवाएंगे सेम थिंग बायोकेमिस्ट्री में करेंगे सेम थिंग फिजियोलॉजी में करेंगे तो रिपीटेटिवनेस भी होगी क्योंकि पॉसिबली इंटर डिपार्टमेंटल मीटिंग तो होगी नहीं तो मुझे ऐसा भी लगता है कि ये बहुत मतलब इसमें काफी इंटीग्रेशन की पॉसिबिलिटी है दैट शुड बी एक्चुअली प्रैक्टिस्ड यस वी कैन थिंक अबाउट इट क्योंकि अभी हम अपना देख रहे हैं कि हम कर पा रहे हैं कि नहीं कर पा रहे हैं लेकिन अगर एक स्टूडेंट के परस्पेक्टिव से देखें तो बहुत ज्यादा उसको हैंडल करने का हो रहा है एंड इट विल डेविएट देम टू यूज रादर कि एक का दूसरे ने कर लिया एआई से करवा लिया ये करवा लिया वो ऐसे मींस में शायद इंटर हो जाएंगे अगर हमने उसको फिजिबल नहीं बनाया और इफ वी हैव नॉट गिवन देम इनफ टाइम टू प्रिपेयर फॉर देयर फाइनल एग्जामिनेशन तो ये हमें जरूर सोचना चाहिए मुझे तो ऐसा लगता है यस सर सेम थिंग इज रिसर्च यू टॉक अबाउट ठीक है सर रिसर्च आपने कहा कि हम मर्ज कर सकते हैं तीनों डिपार्टमेंट्स की दैट इज ओके सर आई वांट टू टॉक अबाउट जर्नल एंड दिस रिकॉर्ड पोर्टफोलियो हाउ हाउ डू यू मेंटेन हाउ आर यू डूइंग व्हाट आर यू डूइंग रिगार्डिंग दिस सर जर्नल एंड लॉग बुक यस सर 40 40 मार्क्स यू कैन सी कंटीन्यूअस इंटरनल असेसमेंट सर यहां पे 100 नंबर कम हो गए ना प्रैक्टिकल के 300 है पर 200 मार्क्स में ये बढ़ गया जर्नल रिकॉर्ड और रिसर्च ये ऐड हो गई है तो व्हाट डू वी हैव टू डू अबाउट दिस जर्नल रिकॉर्ड बुक एंड पोर्टफोलियो जर्नल विल बी मार्क्ड आउट ऑफ 40 द जर्नल व्हिच दे ऑलरेडी हैव जर्नल तो पहले थी लॉग बुक ऐड हुई है इसको हम पास सर मैं 40 में इसको मैं मार्क्स ले रहा हूं सर 150 मार्क्स है ना सर ये डिवाइड हुए हैं सर्टिफाइबल स्किल्स एट कॉम एसवी लैब एक्टिव रिसर्च में जर्नल अलग इज अ सेपरेट हेडिंग फॉर 40 मार्क्स हां तो जर्नल तो एनाटॉमी में जैसे हमारी दो हिस्टोलॉजी और एंब्रियोलॉजी की जर्नल है उसके हमने ये 40 मार्क्स रखे हैं ऐसे सब सब्जेक्ट में अपनी अपनी जर्नल होती है ना यस जर्नल तो थी अब लॉग बुक की और पार्शियल एक एंट्री हुई है तो थोड़ा लिखवाते हैं उसके बेसिस पे देते हैं सर हर सब्जेक्ट में एनएमसी ने पोर्टफोलियो का नाम दिया है इट इज द प्रूफ ऑफ हाउ द स्टूडेंट हैज रीच द स्किल 